Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, I showed you about content projection. Content projection is one of those useful utilities where you can project the content dynamically into any component that you want to inject in. We saw different use cases with uh, content uh, projection as well, so please do check that out. Because today's episode, we are going to learn about view child. This is one of those uh, useful utilities where you want to get a child for a particular component, do some processing dynamically at runtime. We will learn a lot of use cases around this today. So let's get started. This is part 82 of the series. Uh, please do check out the entire complete playlist. Um, there are a lot of exciting use cases, a lot of in detailed explanations that I've done. Uh, I'm planning more close to 100 tutorials. We are already at 82, but I'm sure we'll cross more than 100. Please do subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me. Thank you in advance. All right. Um, so this is a request to all of you. If you like the series, if you like the playlist, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you again in advance. Let's get started. So this is a quick recap uh, for all the viewers who are joining us new. I have covered everything from ground zero to the most advanced use cases in Angular. Uh, right now, um, we are at uh, tutorial number 82, where we will learn about view child. So what is view child? View child is one of those most used decorators and it has many, many important use cases. We can use view child to inject a reference to an existing component or a DOM element. View child gets loaded after ng after view in it. Now, this is one of the most commonly asked interview question to check if you have really worked on it or not. A lot of times people tell that view child can be used right after ng on in it. That is the initial life cycle, uh, component life cycle. But that's not true. View child gets loaded only after ng after view in it method. Okay. Now we'll see some examples of it. So this is one of the important questions that is asked in interviews. So make sure that you uh, get this very clear in your understanding. Now I'm going to show you some of the use cases. So this is the application we are building as part of it. Let's go here. So if you see in the last episode, we created this component called content projection. We used different use cases around it. So today we will do learn how to do view child with this component, right? Or let me show you first the basic uh, thing about it. So what I'm going to do, let's say we have a heading. Let's call it H2 and say this is view child tutorial. Nothing fancy, just a heading H2 tag, right? Now I want to have this reference in my component. Right. I'm an app component dot HTML. So I'm an app component dot HTML. I want to reference it in the app component dot TS. So we need to do something like this. So I'm going to call this headline. Okay. Now let's go to component dot TS and here we are going to use the view child decorator. Okay. And how exactly are we going to do that? Just like any other decorator that we have seen so far, you'll say view child. Okay, now you are going to say view child is of what type? It's a headline. It's a type of headline, correct? So because you reference the same name here, if you see, you said headline, so you'll give the same name here. Now with this, we need to also define the element first. So we are going to say give a name to it. And I'm since it's an element, I'm going to say element ref. Okay, so once you do this, the it would be injected here automatically. That is, it would be imported. Now, if you're not using Visual Studio Code, you might want to import it by yourself. Okay. All right. So let me recap one quick time. We have just a DOM element, just a simple HTML element. We are giving it a template identification that is hash headline. Once we have done it, come to component using the decorator view child, I'm saying there is a decorator of type headline. That's the name of the variable. What is the element type? It is an element, right? Tom element. So I'm calling it as element href. Okay. So now if you just want to get the data of it, right? And I told you clearly view child will be initialized or used only with ng after view in it. 
okay always remember this because this is something that a lot of people make mistake I get a lot of emails about this also so I'm going to just do that for you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that ng after view in it okay make sure you have the correct spelling and what I prefer to do is um, we will have to import it okay uh, it won't work on it so we'll have to write our own right for the class so ng after view in it and then we are going to say implements after view in it now it will say import it so implement it it would automatically create a method for you okay this is the fastest thing I tell people when you're not sure about the syntax or if it's time taking just do quick fix it would automatically build that method for you nothing crazy right it's just an empty method that it will build but you know that you have got the correct name and you have got the correct data type so what are we going to do so with respect to ng view in it we'll also need to do something called change detection okay remember that because otherwise I'll sh first let me show you what happens with without it and then I'll show you how to fix it so here we are going to say console.log so I'm going to say this dot headline dot native element dot say we want the inner HTML right what are we going to do whenever this app gets loaded I just want the inner HTML of this particular element which is element which is headline and if you see here we have our headline so this should be our console.log right so let's see that in the application click inspect console so here um, this is the view child tutorial you see this right so that is what is getting console log after the view in it okay so that's the important thing that you should note that this should be after ng view in it now some people will ask me why not we try it on ng on in it so let's try that uh, on right uh, cannot find name on in it the best way I do is on in it oh okay so that's the that's the reason so now it will say it is not implemented do a quick quick fix it will implement the on in it for us okay now I'm going to move this to this ng on in it okay so now see it would now it would give you an error right it's giving an error which says cannot read properties of undefined okay why because it has template binding and once the view is loaded then only it would have that particular element right so now you see and understand why we should not use it at on in it we should always use it on ng after view in it okay so this element will be available only once the view is initialized okay so this should be good now we see the output back so that's the thing about view child right so we have seen with reference to DOM element now I'm going to show you with respect to component all right so if you see here we are using a component called app content projection right this is a component which we are using here nothing fancy just a simple component it has a selector app content projection okay now we are using that in app component dot HTML you see here we are using this and passing data which I covered in the last episode so if you missed it please do check it out now I want the reference of this particular component in the component dot TS using view child so let's do that now so now I am going to get rid of ng on in it so that it's not confusing to you that was only to show you that how it works okay so now we are going to use view child with a component so now we are saying view child so if you see selector so what is the selector name that we want now we will give the same name as that of the component that we injected in our case it would be content content projection component okay this is the component that we injected if you see here app content projection so we are saying in this component find a child which is of type content projection component and let's give it a name you can give any name to it okay so there is no name you should give the same one content projection component 
So now what we are saying here in this component find a child which is headline of element so which is this one. Now I'm saying in this component find a child which is of type app uh, content projection type component. Simple. Now same way again uh, in ng after view in it um, let's say there is a variable in content projection. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a variable here and I'm going to call it public um, or let's say we are going to say is user super admin right it's of type boolean okay in this let's say in this component I have a variable which is called is user super admin and we are going to use this in our app component okay so go to app component.ts now in the after ng view in it what we are going to do this dot content projection dot if you see here this variable is available to us see so we can directly assign the value here in app component so what we are trying to do here is basically you can set the anything about this component child component in the parent one right so think of it this app component is the parent content projection is the child right so in app component we are able to get all the details about this child component we can update it as well that's what I'm doing here there is a variable there is user super admin I'm setting it to true dynamically from app component using view child right so basically view child is used to update any child properties right he is a decorator used for um, manipulating updating child component we can also use it to get element dom elements right like the one we did just now dom elements we can set values based on certain conditions in the beginning in conditions right so that's what view child is all about Okay, I hope this answers both the queries that is mostly asked in interviews about view child. Do try this out and let me know if you have any issues. I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much for joining. In the next episode, we will learn about view children. Today we learned about view child, but in we can get more than one in through view children. That's what we are going to learn in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again for so much love and stay tuned. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.